we are going all Italian today. So let's start the show. I have been watching Stanley Tucci's Searching for Italy and in one of the most recent episodes he was with Gennaro Cantaldo who is the famous Italian chef. So this is one of the recipes that he made. He made a rocket fresh pasta Amalfi lemon dish with garlic. I only have I don't have the rocket, so I'm substituting it with cavolo nero kale, and then I don't have Amalfi lemons, so I just have normal lemons. The dish also mentions to put in like a chili, so I'm putting two to be cheeky. So I'm just frying it off to get some of the juices out. There's no Italian dish without the garlic. So let's add some extra virgin olive oil. I think I might have put too much oil. <laughs> so what are you doing? So I am crisping that off and then the recipe also called for Amalfi lemons. Amalfi lemons, they are sweet in um, taste. Sweeter than these normal lemons. So let's just see how this turns out. The pasta has been cooked in boiling salted water. Is this quite a simple dish? Yeah. Because I'm hungry. Pass me, pass me the butter. So this is what, like four cubes? I might need more, I don't know yet. So I am going to maybe Squeeze some of these um, pep, um, chilies to get out some of their heat. That's what he did on the show. Um, all right, so why don't I add in some of this charred cavalinero? Really charred. <laughs> So this was in um, oil. In the air fryer? Yeah. So let's mix this up. I know, it doesn't look that pretty. <laughs> and then I'll add the lemon to it after I plate it. So in the recipe, it called for rocket, but the supermarket ran out. So I substituted it with kale, cavalinero kale, because I thought that it was a bit more punchy than mixed salad because that's all they had left. So I think, I think this might be a good alternative. I think I'll give all of it out. So he also squirted it with lemons. OK, 
Okay. Oh my God, I'm getting really hungry. It makes it seem like I didn't eat for days. It's really interesting having lemon spaghetti. Um, and it's also interesting how the Cavallanero kale is a different texture from the spaghetti and it adds some more depth and a dimension to the meal. I think it might have been better with the rocket, but you need to make do, I think, and I think cooking is all about experimentation. So I would suggest to you to give this dish a try. Thanks for watching today's show. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Stanley Tucci. I love his films and I loved reading this book in which he went on about food whenever he was on sets. Whenever he wasn't on sets, he was thinking of food. It was just an obsession with food um, from a very young age. And I think you kind of felt the passion and you felt the enthusiasm for it. And I think I loved that about this book and I would totally recommend it. One of the things that he has regularly every day and even back then is a martini so there's a recipe for it on 207 
So I will read it out loud now to you. So you take a glass beaker, fill it with ice. So this is a shaker. So then you pour half of a good dry vermouth. Okay, let me get my shot glasses. Here is my shot glass. And here is my shaker full of ice. So it said to pour in half a good shot of martini. Okay, that's a bit more than half. So he says to stir it well for 15 seconds. And then to let it sit for 30 seconds, I only learned to make a martini properly. Not when I was a bartender at Alfredo's many years ago, but when I was a customer many years later. I was in a, it was in a hotel on Mallorca near a house I was staying in while filming a project that barely saw the light of day, thank God. I barely up to the bar one evening after a rousing game of tennis and ordered a very dry martini. As usual, I watched the bartender like a hawk while he concocted my tipo, making sure he had a very vague idea of how to work both shaker and strainer simultaneously. Uh, I've actually been known to talk pot bartenders through the process very carefully if I see them struggling or ask politely if I can go behind the bar and just make my own. Luckily, as it turns out, this bartender was Italian more than knew his way around a bar. Here's what he did now. Thanks to him, this is what I do. Okay, so it's been in for 30 seconds. He says to stir it again, then strain. I think I have too much ice. <laughs> I don't have that bit to pour through, so I'm gonna use the shaker bit. <laughs> So I'm gonna pour out the liquid and then use the re remainder of the ice. So basically the vermouth is soaked in the ice. So then this will give it that martini flavor. Okay, this is gonna be part two. He said to pour three to four good shots of gin or good vodka. Stir it well for 30 seconds. Let it sit for 30 seconds, stir it again for 30 seconds. So stir for 30 seconds and then let it sit 30 seconds and then stir it well again. Okay, I think I can manage that. Ooh, this is Sea Rock. This is one of those um, high end French vodkas. I've never tried this before. So he did say to try a really good vodka. So let's be generous with this, shall we? I think I'll do four. Oh dear. Then stir quickly, strain in a chill glass, garnish with one or three olives or lemon twist. Drink it, become a new person. Okay, let's get reborn, shall we? I think I've had enough. So, we're not gonna be shaking it because I'm gonna try it this way. So here is my lemon peel.
Oh, this looks so nice. Wow, this is a different type of martini. I think, I think when I've had the one with the uh, martini mix, it was a bit more drier. I, I think this one tastes a bit more crisper. But I think this will get me quicker, maybe. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good golly. I think this is going to be a winner. So cheers, everyone. It is in Stanley Tucci's book. I would recommend... Um, getting some insight and getting some food inspirations and he does do a really good um, drink so I do thank him for recommending this recipe so I will say cheers and bye for now